Dun 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 Low clearance. Very low clearance. Welcome everyone, Adam Inuwu here. Today, number two of my Route 66 adventure. Starting from Santa Monica, California to Chicago, Illinois. Today, I am in hopes of crossing into Arizona, the state line. Just see what I can see. Join me, shall you? This liquor store mural has some very dangerous creatures. A snake, a scorpion. Oh, look at this guy. He means business. Currently standing in needles, making our way straight across through Top Rock, hopefully to Oatman, Kingman, and beyond. I should also once again mention that my good friend Jacob the Carpetbagger is taking this journey along with me. I'm ride you all the way across 66. Then you're gonna, we're gonna slither up the Sears Tower and then me and you will be king and queen of Chicago. Fire ants. Very dangerous. By crossing that waterway, the Colorado River, I am now in Arizona. In fact, there's the sign, or at least a portion of what was a sign. A lot of long stretches between towns, not a lot to look at except for mountains and tumbleweeds. But man, it is, it is beautiful. Just noticed there is an array of stacked burned rocks. Lots of them, not just one stack, but several of them scattered through the desert, piled up, but the coloration looks as if a fire came through here at one time. I know in certain situations these are placed in different areas as a sign of respect and there is a backstory to it. However, I think in this spot it could just be tourists building what they consider to be a desert version of a snowman. Appears as if over the next eight miles we're gonna see some wild burrows, some donkeys. Gotta jump out real quick to confirm what I mentioned earlier. See? A desert snowman. Just a few minutes away from a step back in time. Oatman, Arizona, straight ahead. Now I don't know what the protocol is for approaching these animals, but there is a conglomeration, a group of donkeys up here on this hill, frolicking around, playing in the dust. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? What's up, fellas? Good to see you. Not something you see, not something you see every day. Just fraternizing with the burrows. This little guy over here, he's chowing down on a banana. He's got himself a banana. Nice. Even have some stuffed animal versions for sale at this outdoor market. Jumping cacti skeletons. The skeletons of a cactus, perhaps? Have to go inside some of the stores to purchase the donkey food. I like this, it reminds me of an old circus banner. Is the donkalope anything like the jackalope? Has Dave Coulier been here? Inside this bag are nuggets of hay. You hungry? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you want hungry? Oh, he's eating the, don't eat the bag. I gotta, don't eat, yo, you don't wanna eat the bag. Let me get one, let me get one out for you. Hold on, let me, wait, oh, okay, there you go. Just, just go for it. You want this, don't you? Oh, you want the whole bag? Just take the whole bag. Just take the whole, let me dump it out for you. Just take the whole bag. That's all yours. You can have all of it. The rest is yours. Known as the ghost town that refuses to die. Walls of this diner are adorned with thousands upon thousands, maybe even millions upon millions of American currency, dollar bills signed and placed, stapled along the walls and the roof. Even the bar area 
has seen its share of currency placed as well. Look at this little tunnel back into the main dining area. There's just like, gosh, an unlimited amount of cash. The large rock formation up on the side of the hill, as well as this structure, could be seen in the 1962 Western, How the West Was Won. That's a movie relic right there. Mine Museum. Oh, you can go directly inside the mine. Hard hats may or may not be required. Danger, stay out. Stay out. It's very musty in here and my throat is dry. I need something to <coughs> wet my whistle. Opened in 1902, the hotel has just a little bit of Hollywood history. This gentleman spent his wedding night here. Clark Gable and Carol Lombard spent their honeymoon upstairs. Visitors are welcome to the honeymoon suite. Simply walk up those stairs and take a look in the window. Pretty freaking cool. Who knew? Right in there. They consummated their marriage. You dog. I wonder if he repeated that famous line. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a, but you know the rest. Cause Fappy the wise old miner gives wisdom for the taking. Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today. If you're smart like me, you live your days as if they were your last. Cause one day they will be. If you can't understand plain English, I'm telling you to have fun. Happy's wisdom consisted of a lot of James Dean-isms. Is it just me or did you look a lot like Steven Spielberg? I'm gonna go rob this here bank. You stand right. out here and watch all these folks and I'll be right back. All right. Hey right. right. guys, hate you. <laughs> Don't jump. I'd hate to shoot you on accident. I'd much rather just do it on purpose. You just gotta go inside and get it. All right. All right. Good. Now here. Like you hang on to go. He's running off. All right. What? Where are you going? Well, you said Mexico's that way. I have the gold and that's where I'm going. Nobody say draw. Oh. <laughs> 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 I told you to give me a Walmart bullet. <laughs> that don't mean I can't shoot you in a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> getting quite a little bit hot and heavy back there but it all worked out in the end they they remain friends just a couple couple bullet wounds but they'll survive traveled up the windy mountain path a few miles and noticed some ruins here on the side of the hill and what really caught my eye is up there on the horizon looks to be a cave of some sort upon closer inspection after trotting over this fallen fence. It's not a cave. It's an abandoned mine shaft. Whatever you do, don't look down. You fall in there, I don't think anyone's gonna find you for quite a while. And even more sketchy, past this barbed wire, if I tuck the camera down and peek over, I don't know what's worse, the heights or the fear of tetanus. No, no thank you. While Jacob takes the challenging way down, I'm also noticing the bottom level shows a more intense view. Look at this. Wow, keep out. As incredible as these views are, notice there's no guardrails off the side of the cliff. If your car just swerved over, 
there's not much stopping you from going down the side of the mountain. Almost like an oasis, if you will, here in Cool Springs, this little convenience store popped up. All kind of stuff in here, including this little teeny tiny car and a glass case. Of course, some Radiator spring stuff and a Rolling Stones 1969 US Tour jacket. Do have to wonder if these vehicles are ones they pulled out of the ravine off the ledge, just dragging it back up. Cars that just didn't make it tumble down tumble down the hill. I, I want to throw away my trash, but there's like a lot of bees. There's a heck of a lot of, I just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slide my trash. I'm just gonna slide my trash. Get in there, get in there. Don't jump, I don't want to get stung. Get in Even restroom facilities at your disposal and a sink all the comforts of home out here basically in the barren wasteland of nothingness pulling into Kingman now it appears as if camels camels are running rampant stationary Santa Fe train railroad over in the park Perfect for photo opportunities. Also happened to be at a very specific, unusual numbered altitude designated with a sign at the Powerhouse Visitor Center. Currently 3,333.33 feet above sea level. Gotta love this signage shop fixing up some of the old neons of Mother Road. Heck yeah, that's awesome. The El Trovatore claims to have the longest map, and I think it might be painted on the side of the room doors. An information placard back there stated that Don Knotts once stayed right here. You are here. And this is how far we've come thus far. Each of the rooms are named after a celebrity. For example, Frank Sinatra. That's his room. The Bogart area is cleverly disguised, the entryway, and there's a stagecoach painted around the windows. And there he is, right up there. Old Humphrey, taking the reins of the horses. I think that's John Lane. No, it's Humphrey Bogart. Why would, why would Humphrey Bogart be driving a stagecoach? Probably for the same reason Porky Pig would be holding two money bags outside the Bugsy Siegel room. Let's not forget the wishing well. I got my quarter ready. I'm gonna toss it in. Nailed it. Well, 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 what? What have we here? This visitor center is the home of Giganticus Hedicus. Always enjoy this joke. Caution. Baby rattlers. They're down there. See them down there? Legitimate baby rattlers. This area, the cars are teeny tiny and the bugs are huge. Continued on a bit. Say hello to the Hackberry General Store. Nice old classic rat rod in front of the vintage gas pumps. Always like places that have maps that you can put a push pin in to let people know where you're from and where the travelers are coming from. Careful, don't illegally park. Hackberry towing, they don't play around. Ooh, what's in here? Well, hello there. Didn't know you were back here. Oh, I didn't see you over there either. Working on the engine. What animal did this come from? Oh my, what the, there's teeth, the teeth are falling out. I got, the teeth were falling out. Get us out of here. Help us free it. 
Wait, grab that gun right there. Grab that gun. All right. Grab that. Grab it. Grab that. We'll shoot our way out. Or we could just grab the keys that are just dangling right here. Look, Adam, I'm a freaking cowboy. Can't get away from these dang donkeys. Ooh, gold. Gold. Oh, hey, never mind. It's that's that's not real. Winding down the evening now for a hearty meal at the Roadkill Cafe. You know it's gotta be good when you first walk in and a vulture is on the floor mat. After looking at the menu, it's difficult to decide. You got fender tenders, tire tread, buff, vulture and veggie, treads and bread. But I think I'm leaning towards the chicken that almost crossed the road. Beverages served in mason jars and an IQ test. Wait a second. Fail. What if these guys started singing like Country Bear Jamboree style? Probably freak out all the locals. And this is what we're dealing with. I got a breast, a thigh, a leg, mashed potatoes and gravy, potato salad. And look at this. What the heck? That's like an entire gargantuan pig. That's the whole freaking pig. That's gonna do it for day number two of Route 66. If you wanna help out with these travels, down below I put the links to my Patreon page. You can help fuel the woo, put gas, rental cars, flights, hotels, future endeavors that keep the show on the road. Also, get yourself an Adam the Woo t-shirt, any size, any shape, any color, adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. All those links will be down below. I'll see you in the next video. Vlog? Over. Wait, come back, come back, I'm stuck. Come, no, I'm stuck. I'm locked, this door's locked. It's, it's, it's legitimately locked. It's legitimately sealed.